Okay, so in the last couple of videos, we have been talking about taking different types of Excel objects and copying them over from an Excel application into the PowerPoint application. And so we worked with charts, we worked with list objects, we worked with ranges, um, but I've kind of always kept the way we were pasting the objects in the presentation always the same. So I just did the default paste method. However, been kind of misleading because there's actually different ways we can paste our objects from an Excel application into a PowerPoint application. So in this video, we're going to discuss using the paste special method. So with the paste special method, we can paste our objects as linked objects, as photos, and in some cases we can actually embed them as objects within the PowerPoint presentation. Now in my workbook, I've already got some data. If this workbook looks familiar, it's because I've used it in the chart. Uh, so you know, the one we were exporting charts to PowerPoint, it's all the same data. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take one of my scripts that I've already built, and I'm gonna show you using that same script how we can paste an Excel chart into the PowerPoint application different ways. <clears throat> so I'm gonna go in the VBA editor and as you can see, I already got my script here. So all this script was doing, it was, it was creating a PowerPoint presentation, adding some slides, and then copying this chart over to that presentation. And in this example, I did this. So I just used the normal paste method. So the normal paste method basically pasted as a default type that it's expected to be in PowerPoint. So for example, if I have a chart in Excel, it's gonna paste it as a chart in PowerPoint because that's the default type. So if I run it, <clears throat> we see that it pasted that chart and it's a chart because we see the new little ribbon right up here. It's a, it's a charts tool. So these are all the tools that we have access to if we wanna change our chart so we can do things like, hey, maybe I don't want the title, you know, things like that. But you know, that's pretty simple. We've done that before. But what are the different ways we can paste it? Well, if we use a method called the paste special method, we can paste our objects, for example, as photos. So an enhanced, meta, enhanced meta file is a photo. A JPEG is a photo. A meta file picture is a photo. A PNG is a photo. So that's a common way to paste something. Sometimes we wanna just paste it as an image. So what we do is we just go and set up our code normally. So we go to the PPT slide, we go to the shapes collection, but instead of calling the paste method, so like up here, we're calling the paste method, I wanna call the paste special method. And with the paste special method, we've gotta provide, provide some parameters. And one of those parameters is called the data type. And with the data type, it will specify how we paste our object. So in this line, I'm pasting it as a metafile picture. So let's see what we get when we paste it as a picture. Okay. So as we can see, it's just a picture. So if I right click it, I get all these new options called to edit picture, change the picture. And then, hey, it opens up this new ribbon where we get the picture tool. So we can set things like the border, add maybe some effects to it. Maybe I want a shadow, so things like that. So that's pasting it as a picture. But what if we don't wanna do a picture? What if we wanna do something a little bit more special? Well, there's something in there called an OLE object. So an OLE object is basically an embedded object within the PowerPoint presentation. And so the way to think of it is like, say we had like a little tiny Excel spreadsheet, we can embed that spreadsheet into our PowerPoint presentation. So it's like we have one application kind of within the other application. And so we call that data type the PP paste OLE object. And so this will paste it as an embedded chart. Now with these ones, we'll find that we actually have a lot more parameters. Well, we have parameters here that we can play with, but uh, this one, we can actually set something called a link. And with the link, we can say, hey, embed it as a, a, a Excel chart object, but set up a link between that object and the workbook that it came from. So that way, if I change data in my workbook, I can just update my link 
So I can update my link in the presentation and now the changes will flow through. So let's see what happens when we do that. Okay. So now we have this object and it's, I mean, we can, if we right click it, we can tell it's called a link macro enabled worksheet object. Well, it's a macro enabled one because there's a macro in my workbook, but then we get things like update link. So <clears throat> for example, what happens, and I like to demonstrate this. So I have this chart. This is the same one that's in here. I can prove it by if I double click it. Now I can play around with it. So if I, it's kind of funny, if you just double click it, it just takes you right back to the same workbook. So it's, it's really nice actually sometimes. But let's just say I change one of the values here. Huh, I changed it here and the chart now reflects that change in the data. So linking our objects can save us a lot of time because all we have to do is normally just paste it once and then we just change the data and then we'll just refresh our link. So we'll just go here, right click and press update link. I will say with links, you gotta be a little bit careful because they can be a blessing and a curse. It's a blessing because we don't have to recopy anything. We just gotta refresh the data. The problem is if you start moving workbooks around and deleting sheets and deleting that, all of a sudden those links will be broken. And if you try to go and refresh your links, you'll get all these little errors. And in some cases, your PowerPoint presentation will freeze. So. You got to be really careful with the links sometimes because they will backfire if you're not careful. But at my old company, we loved it. We would put all sorts of linked objects in there. Now we had 300 slides in a PowerPoint presentation and you know, that's a problem in itself, but having the linked objects definitely did save some time. And so what happens now, if I just, you know, set that link to false, it'll still be a, an embedded object, but We'll find it's just, yeah, see, now we're getting the error. So this happens sometimes. I'm kind of glad it popped up. Uh, again, nothing's wrong with this line. It just, it happens sometimes. Sometimes what I can do is I can paste it as a different data type and that will tend to fix the problem, but it's, it's not always the case. So if I close it again <clears throat> and say, maybe if I just do it as a default one, and then if I try to go back to that one, it, it, it tends to be a little bit better. Okay, so now it's working. Let's do that. So we got it to work now. And let's try it this time. Oh, it could be that. I would be shocked if it's that though. Let me do this. I've had success doing this sometimes. If I change that to that, and then I do that, sometimes it works. So it, it's now an embedded object. I'm really glad that error happened because that makes this video much more realistic because I'm sure some of you will encounter that error. Nothing really changed about it. If I go back here and I do that and then I do this again, it will show that for the most part it should work. Okay, so it worked. That is an error that pops up sometimes. I, I think again, it has something to do with the clipboard. I'm not entirely positive, but as we can tell, we're not changing anything really about our line. I mean, yeah, I set it from false to MSO false, but it's exactly the same thing. And so that, that does happen sometimes. It doesn't mean your script is wrong. It just means that sometimes talking from one application to another application does produce errors and you need to be aware of those errors because they will cause you headaches, but it doesn't mean anything is wrong. And so in this example, we still pasted it as an embedded object, but now I can do things like edit it, for example. So if I edit it, I can actually go in here and, 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 and it's, almost like, it's almost like I have an actual Excel workbook in my PowerPoint presentation. So it's kind of cool, it's nice. I, I can't imagine really, you know, working like this because it's so small and I just, I would have to change so much and it looks like, you know, just playing around with this is so challenging. So, you know, I'm not gonna say it's necessarily the easiest thing to work with and of course like going outside of it can obviously screw it up too but it is an option. So if, you know, if we do have individuals who are more comfortable working with those types of objects, the OLE objects, then I encourage you to paste it like that. <clears throat> we actually have a couple other methods too. So the default method 
is basically like we're just calling the paste method. So it's gonna paste it however it thinks it should be pasted. So we'll see that it will just paste it as a chart object. Exactly, so it's just a chart again. And then we have a bitmap, that's just another type of photo, Hans Metafile photo, HTML, it's like basically code. Um, and then there's also this really interesting one too that I don't use that often, I think I've used it maybe once. But this one, we can actually paste it as a shape, we can display it as an icon, and then we can put a label underneath that icon. So, um, you know, we can say, hey, this is a link to a chart, and then we can also set a link. So if I run this, we still might get that error again, but we can try. No, good, it got it. Nice. So yeah, now we can see it's just an icon and it's a link to that icon. So that if they double click it, it will take them to that workbook and then um, they can go there. So it, it's a nice option. I mean, I've, I've never really used it, but I've, I've seen it used sometimes. But it's nice to know if, if you do need that, you know, you can just specify display as icon and then you can put a nice little label for that icon so it, it is an option if, if it's something that suits your needs but uh, that that concludes this video so again we were just exploring the different types of paste methods that we can leverage uh, when we're copying one object over from one application to another so uh, hopefully you found it useful I mean I, I definitely found that useful when I found out I can do things like link it and you know, embed certain types of objects. It's, it's really nice, actually. But uh, if you have any suggestions for uh, upcoming videos, you know, please, you know, put them in the comments below. And I mean, I'll definitely do the research and see what we can do with it, uh, especially if they're really popular ones. I mean, I'm sure I want to kind of hit as many people as I can. So if it's going to benefit a lot of people, definitely do a video on it. And if you can also, if you could please uh, like and subscribe, that definitely helps a lot. We always like getting the support. Uh, but yeah, thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.